if you're ever put in a situation where you have to open up Microsoft Word files on a Mac with pages, and I'm doing this because my version of Word that's on here is this one where you can view, you can't really make changes. So I'm having to right click on these files and open them up in pages, which is easy to do, open with pages. Here you see how you do that. So I've opened up the page here. Let's pull it back open. All right, here we go. So I've opened up a page here, and I can see there are a number of changes that have been made on this page. I'm doing this is for my own benefit. Now I can go up through here where it says comments and changes. And I can go through each and every single one of these changes that the writer has suggested, and I can accept or reject them. But I see there's 13. Sometimes I've had pages with 30 or 40 of them. And uh, the best way to do that is go over here to this little thing if you trust the person that's the writer and it's to accept all changes here. It, it, for some reason, it was just hard for me to find that, so I'm doing this so I can remember where to go to. It's just right here, you can do this, and you can accept all changes. And then your changes are cool, and you can paste these into a Word file, or excuse me, a, 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 a website page or whatever. That's what I'm working on here. I'm doing some web pages in Dreamweaver. So right there is your spot where you go to accept all. Or you can just go through here and do that. And of course, it leaves your comments. So and I had a question here. I can still roll over and see the comment, and I can say, well, I can, you know, I can certainly uh, consider what she's wanting me to do. I will certainly do that. There you go, folks. Hope that little tip has helped someone. Thanks.